As promised, I'll be showing you how I title my Adobe stock images using a software that literally just makes it as easy as clicking one button and having a title generated for each Adobe stock image. If that's something you're interested in, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how to install the tool, where to get it, and all the information about it. So this is the place where I get the tool. I'll leave a link in the description to it. Um, you guys are familiar with this before. These are the two tools that I use for automating mid-journey, you know, to get all those images created so I don't have to sit down on a computer and watch it all being created for me. I could step away. This is the fast tagger, and of course, here is the title maker tool. So once again, I'll leave a link in the description. But essentially, the way this tool works is that it's required for you to have tags that represent what that image is. And based on the tags, it will generate a long tail title for you. Um, that is related to those tags. Uh, so it serves a really good purpose of having the similarities and the right keywords between the tags and the titles, uh, which is a huge benefit in Adobe stock size. I'm going to mention this into the video in a few seconds, but Adobe looks for certain things in your tags and in your titles uh, to help you rank higher, which does help. Um, so the tool kind of takes that into account. You could read here the different instructions, how to install it. Uh, I'll be showing you right now how to install it. So if you're worried, you know, don't be. I'll show you. But uh, if you want any customer support on the Signal app, you can message the creator at akifkaya.32. He'll take care of all of your questions, all your concerns. But the tool works very simple. Like I said, it says very simply after you install the application and enter the license key, you'll have the ability to add your OpenAI key. Uh, after that, your title maker button will appear on your Adobe stock panel. For each image, you'll be able to add your own titles to each image. This is, po this is possibly the most simple and easy to, you to issue tool. The tool will create a title based on the tags that are already present in your image. So yes, your images are required to have tags prior to titling. Titling must only begin after tags are added to each image that you wish to have automatically titled. So that simple, all right? So right now I'm going to take you into my computer once again to show you how to install the tool. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you how to install the tool or any tool for for that fact um, that we're going to be using. So what we do is the first thing we need to do is we need to install it to our browser. So after you download it, what I want you to do is go to your browser and hit this little three dots button, ideally on Google Chrome. And what you're going to do is you're going to hit this extensions button, then manage extensions. And it's going to take you to a page like this. If you have no extensions, it, it won't show anything here. Uh, these are like the little tools that I'm using. But if you do have some extensions, then you'll see some of them. What you need to do is you need to go to the right hand side of your little browser. Let me go ahead and enlarge this. So, you know, kind of we get some space here so I can show you how this works is you turn on developer mode. So there's a little switch here, you turn on that mode. And then once you have turned on developer mode, it's time to move the tool over into your browser. So you could see here, I already have some tools on my desktop, right? These are zip files and these are folders. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I downloaded the tool, it's called the fast title tool. And I'm gonna take it and just move the zip file into my desktop. Now I can't use it just yet because it is a zip file. Uh, but all I have to do is double click and it will turn itself into a folder. So there we go. It's a folder format. Now that I have it in a folder, all I have to do is drag and drop. If for some reason you have it in a folder format and when you try to drag and drop, it just shows a bunch of writing and stuff. All you have to do is select the load unpacked, find that folder on your desktop, click on it and then there you go. If you get any kind of error, like a manifest error or something like that, it means that you know you haven't selected the right folder. So remember, it's the folder that you directly get after unzipping this. If you click on this folder and look inside it, it has a bunch of different stuff, a bunch of different files, and that's not actually going to help you. Um, you, you can't use anything inside, you just have to use the whole entire folder. So super, super simple. Now that we have the folder, I'm going to enlarge my browser again. And you can see it's a tool right here, the Adobe Stock Fast Titler. So now I'm going to pin the tool. So I'm going to go to this puzzle piece icon. I'm going to select this little 
pin icon, and there we go, it's pinned. And by the way, this works for Mac and PC. All right, and now I'm going to take my license key, I'm going to paste it in here, hit login, and I'll be right back once I log in. Okay, so I just logged in, and here we go. It's perfectly fine. Now what I need to do is I need to get an open AI API key. So once again, let me pause my screen. Let me grab my OpenAI API key. Okay, so I'm on OpenAI's website. I'll select the Explore the API button. I'll click Start Building. And this will take me to the OpenAI system. And from here, I'll be able to access an API key. First thing I'll do is I'll hit the dashboard button and you can see here on the left hand side I have different uh, you know different buttons and here is the API keys button. I'm going to select that button and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an API key. So I'm going to go over here create a new secret key. I'll give it any kind of name. You guys can give it application name. You could give it you know whatever you want to call it. It really doesn't make a difference and click create a secret key and I'll hit copy and then I will paste that key here and I'll hit save API key and there we go it's saved now what I'll be able to do is when I'm inside Adobe stock and I want to title a lot faster this will do the work for me and so if you don't have an open AI account go in create an open AI account add some credits or credit card or money or something like that to the system and you'll be able to literally type in thousands of different uh, images literally at the cost of pennies uh, so effectively close to free so essentially super super easy super simple and you can see here it's never been used I'm gonna go ahead and use it and after this video I will, will delete all my keys just doing this for a tutorial but uh, you can see how that works alright so let me go ahead and pause my screen and head over to Adobe stock okay now that I'm in Adobe stock it's time to actually use the tool. So what I like to do is I already have tools that allow me to tag, right? And allow me to do different things to my images. But this tool adds like this button right here called Title Maker. And what it will do is it will essentially work off based off the given tags that it has. I just click this button and it will perform a title for me. So super, super simple, super easy, right? I can click Title Maker. There we go. It creates one for me that has a lot of keywords in it, which is dense. I like that. If you're familiar with uh, Adobe stock, you know, one of the recommendations they provide is they say the first 10 tags that you have should sometimes be found in your title. So it doesn't have to have be all 10, right? But the keywords from your tags, the top 10 at least should be found sometimes in your title. Not every single keyword, but some of the keywords. And this kind of tool takes that into consideration. I can click here, right? I have like, for example, the keyword shark, great white, cartoon, illustration, right? And every single one of those are found here. So that's pretty good. Um, so these are things that I'm kind of look for and it makes it real easy. Can I, I just have to click a button and I really don't even have to read the title, especially, you know, when I have tens of thousands of images that I have to process. Uh, and I'll just give you an example, like in the past week and a half, I probably created around like 12,000 images just on mid journey alone. And those 12,000 images need to be upscaled, which I completed about 4,000 of them so far. Uh, 4,000 images are upscaled and now they're uploaded into just one single account. And that one single account, I have to not only tag and I have to title. This makes it 10 times easier because I'm using my tag tool, doing some tagging here with the, the stock tagger, right? Um, and what it does is it scans the image, it tags for me. And then after I tag, right, what am I doing then? Then I'm using the title tool to create my titles for me. So if, if it took me, let's just say, you know, an hour to title and tag 100 images manually, it could take me less than probably five minutes of work to do it manually now or not manually, but using the AI softwares and the tools, which is much, much faster, allows me to produce much faster work over time. And, you know, for most people, they can't even tag or title 100 images in an hour. I'm just giving you an example. I don't even know if I can. Uh, I'm just, like I said, giving you an example of how fast these things kind of go. So super simple, super easy to use. I'll just hit save work here. And you can see we have a bunch of images that are saved, right? And no matter what... Um, uh, which one I click, all I have to do is click here, title, and 
you know, the nice thing about it is it just works based off your tag, so it's going to relate. Obviously, you can sit there and you can create different, you know, titles and, and just manually do it, but this is a nice luxury to have. It's definitely not a requirement for everybody to have, um, but it does help for sure, and that's there's no question about that. So it definitely speeds things up and make th makes things a lot faster, a lot easier. I use less brain power. I process things much more quicker. Um, and I get faster results, which allows me to thereby make more money over time. So very effective. If you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. And if you want to see more videos like this, I'll see you, you know, in the comments, mention them to me and I'll talk to you soon. All right. Peace out. Bye.